Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Equestria War as the state of Lake City. Let us continue off where we last left off. So, we've sent delegation to all of our little guys up here to the north. Uh, the changeling said no because they're extremely rude. But you know, these three guys did say yes and hopefully they will slowly but surely uh, want to join into our glorious river republic which will eventually mean that I can just straight up annex them in not the near future but sometime soon-ish. I mean, it is going to take a while for us. Does, like, does everybody have to get down to a river coalition? Or does this immediately affect everybody in the in the faction? I'm not too sure how it necessarily works. Yes, I think we need to join the, uh, the Society of Science. So maybe I would like to get some, uh, some science base, a small science base. Oh, I see. If anybody finishes any of these things, it's automatically done for everybody. Okay, that is interesting. Actually, that makes a lot of sense that we don't have to all do it independently. So I'm assuming if I go like Deponia, are they all done now? Yeah, they're all just filled out. I mean, he can still send a thing to the changelings, but... Okay, yeah, no. Okay, that's very interesting. I mean, it makes a lot of sense that it works out that way. I should have thought about that before. We have 101 days till this is finished. I mean, you know, in hindsight, it makes way more sense to know. I, I just thought everybody had to research all of it. But if that's the case, you know, I don't want to fall behind. But also, if anybody's researching any of these things first, then I can't win, more or less. Because if everybody takes 70 days, it's only researching it's it does it first for you, then you know, you can't do anything. So I guess every single time I want to research any of these focuses, I have to look at every other country in a faction and be like, okay, is anybody beating me on this? Because if they are, then I, I I'll just wait for them to do it. There's not much else you can really do. So 195, political advisor. I mean political power gains plus fifteen percent wouldn't be the worst. Drift defense is not that important. You know, let's get a war industrialist in here as well. She looks extremely surprised by what the hell's happening in our country. So, if one more troop, we will deploy them onto purple. Because purple is our largest front. And, you know, they are one of our biggest enemies. What's the name? 90,000 out of 154. 13 out of 18. I mean, they're not, they're not that close. Do we have four civilian factories? We do. Okay. I would like to dam up the, the building now. More civilian factories than four. So I think we actually need five. Excellent. Uh, how long till this fifth one's built? It's going to be done in J June of next year. You know, things could be going a little bit faster, I would say. But, you know, let's get resource extraction. Yes, it would solve our issue right now that we have a steel. Because right now we're only missing like one steel. If we got 10% more off 15, that would give us... Enough. It looks like you guys are eventually going to win. Are you, will you form a faction with Priwin? I think you will. Form land ownership, cottage industry. Like, just keep going down this tree so you can join the faction ASAP. Every, everything has to do with like, cottages are or nerds. So don't, uh, don't do that. Just focus completely on political reforms. Thank you very much. I don't need to ban any of these, these parties. I really don't think that's really going to benefit me at all. Because, you know, only 14%. It's ticking down anyways. So we are uh, getting our plus 0.05 a day. So eventually they will be uh, insignificant. Yeah, so they all get the event. As once you're standing... So that is now finished. But it's like, I don't really want to invest in these other people. It really doesn't seem like it would help me out very much. So I'm at four points. Well, how many points is there in total? So we got, uh, you're not worth anything. So we got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, 12, 15, 17, 20, 23, 24, 
So there's 26 points in total. And right now we have four of them. I know somebody else has one. Because somebody had to have researched River Society. So if we have four. I mean, it's split over like a bunch of countries as well. So four might actually put us in a, a decent lead for a while. So I think now we can focus on doing something else. We can focus on nationalizing the guard because I want to get the military austerity done. Because again, like if somebody, if it's like this guy down here who decides to put a point into something over here, apparently they don't actually have the Dreams Federation done. So maybe it's uh, a little bit broken. No, no, he's doing fine. Maybe they didn't do James the Federation first, and then they'll automatically get all of these things finished. I'm really not too sure. Yeah, because they, they've all got it finished, and they haven't done anything. But if these guys were to develop, invest in some of these other countries, that's fine. If they have no points, they're not actually a threat to my leadership role. And I don't think they can do that. Uh, so, okay, research slot. What do I want to go with? I would like to go with... I mean, better artillery. I and mean, we have artillery and a bunch of our troops. Uh, other than the, the Pegasus's, Pegasi. So getting the better artillery would be beneficial. We have 150 political power once again. This armed nation, of course, we don't want to do that. The problem is that like, the service by requirement is such a huge penalty... That I, I don't want to work until I'm actually in a big war. I don't want to do anything with this. But I'm also not going to find any political power to try to train more troops. Two military factories would be nice. An extra civilian factory will immediately allow us to dam up that river. Worker movement. Because you need. Uh, yeah, we can do that here. Can you also do that with. Uh, yeah, okay. So these also become available as well. Not you, because you do need calls to the prince, which is not going to happen. Well, we will be able to get uh, some research speed. Daily fashion support goes up. Both of those sound like uh, good things for us right now. And removes also some... Uh, I have two research slots, which is very nice. It removes the illiteracy penalty, which is construction speed and research speed. Yeah, that'd be also very nice to have. But I also need both of these. There's a lot of things I actually need to do. To make this country not awful. So we've nationalized the guilds, the military factories, that'll lower poverty in our country. And I don't really care about this stuff right now. Of course, I'll focus that if I have to. The AI kind of just does whatever it wants, whenever it wants. I mean, that's, I mean, it's fine, but it doesn't... Okay, we'll get um, Sacrificing for a Better Future. Uh, efficiency cap and growth going up. Sounds good for me. We'll, you know, throw some kids into the factories. It's fine. Don't worry about it too much. Yeah, most of the stuff I don't think we have to do. I mean, this one actually does uh, reduce unaligned by a little bit, but... You know, our fashion support's already going up. So we should more or less be okay... Like if a tree. Let's go for some more defense and breakthrough. You know, I would really like some more slots. It would be very nice to have. I mean, we could go for... No, that's just a billion. It's not 34%. I mean, it could be better, but also could be a lot worse. So we're going to present 200 political power to dam up this area. It's going to use, like, all of my factories. Yeah, so I'm actually building nothing right now. How long does that last for us? So was it 200 days? Oh, uh, where is it? Oh, it's 500. Oh, that's forever. That's like a year and a half. Well. It, okay, now we definitely need to get some more civilian factories. But I can't build more civilian factories because I have zero factories. So, yikes. What have I done? And I don't think there's anything in here, right? Like, no, um, 300%. I mean, these resource bonuses are nice. None of them, I think, are going to give me any uh, factories, though. And I can't have anybody um, invest in me, unfortunately. 
as much as that would be very nice to have. This will be done in 13 days, then we'll get this one, we'll go straight for the extra research slot, remove our uh, literacy penalty, which is going to give us basically a 15% research speed bonus. And then we'll go for national mobilization and getting rid of austerity. Or no, imp imp implementing austerity, I should say. So we get the citizen use. It'll also make fashion go up slightly faster, which should give us a little bit of a bonus for our stability. National mobilization. Is there anything you can do after that? No, the only thing we can do is Operation Rushing Water, so actually... Well, we could go for the National Science Fund. We don't have more than 20 factories right now. We're only at 14. This will get us up to 16. But not enough for the extra research slot. Which kind of sucks. But this will also allow us to build that university. I'll just keep doing that. I wonder if there's actually a bonus for not spending money on the Lake Festival. I mean, the, the alternative right now is I'm only getting plus five political power every year, which is awful. Like, it's really not good. So, like, a 20% extraction bonus? Would that be what I'm looking for right now? I mean, I can pick my Pegasus is a little bit better, my Pegasi. But this also makes them a lot better. And it covers there's no actual ahead of time penalties on these things. Which, again, is still a little bit strange. But we'll make our Pegasuses. Just better. And also, yeah, we can get magical infantry as well, which would uh, be nice once we can actually have the industrial capacity to do so. What do we need for the university? For 70 days, we use slightly more consumer goods, but that literally doesn't matter right now because we have no factories at all. You know, next year we're just going to cancel the festivities. Plus five political power is awful. How would research speed go down by 30%? Oh, wait, no. We have a negative 80% right now. So, actually, that, that is a bonus for us. New democracy in Nebusia. How many times how are you going to have new, uh, like, new democracies? You keep changing, like, every day. You annex the Buffalo Chiefdom. That's fine. Uh, changeling, are you going to go to War to Equestria or anything like that anytime soon? I don't think so. Oh, for the 13 villages. You can now become a member. There we go, fantastic. Thank you for joining our faction. Uh, as far as I know, you're not able to do anything. Like, you're not actually a threat to us. And that's fantastic. So you are now part of our membership. Unfortunately, I don't think we get a point for that, even though I feel like we should. With the fir tree villages. So we got the citizens youth. Farbrook's at war. Farbrook's not within our country, right? I don't think so. Where was Farbrook? I don't remember where Farbrook is. Yeah, why do we have stupid ponies? Where is Farbrook? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter that much, but still. Oh, no, it's right here. Yeah, no, I definitely don't want the Workers' Republic to win that war. Like, who who do you think you are? I mean, I can... How many troops do you have? Two divisions, two divisions. I could... Can I send volunteers? I can't. I can send one volunteer division. Well! Do I have good news for you? Panzer leader... Yeah, I'll send you here. We're going to send you a volunteer. One division. I don't know how long it takes for you to get there. You'll be there in on July 22nd. Because I want Farbrook to join my coalition. I don't want them. Maybe because they're at war, they're not, it's not going to show up here. But adding one more division probably will help them out. I don't know if we're going to get any volunteers themselves. I'm hoping not. So let's improve our artillery. Uh, we're going to train up like two more divisions. We can even train up like some Pegasi. Okay, so we got our division up here. 
Let's see if we can actually make something happen. Of course, if we can just surround these this one troop, that would benefit us. Uh, just improve artillery again. Okay, now we're going to be in multiple combats, which actually should actually get you killed. But now that I'm actually, you know, throwing troops into helping you, I'm guessing your bolster's like, yeah, you're just like a default tree. That doesn't really matter. Okay, so we'll go like this. We'll completely surround that one troop. So you should be fine. Or even as a capital. Capital's over here at Lost Hope. Okay, so we got some more research is done. You just go straight up to Long Hope now. And other than that, what do we want to do? Pegasus is making them a little bit better. Monthly population supply consumption? That seems pretty good. As well as getting soft attack plus 5%. Yeah, so that was one troop that just been completely killed off. Fantastic. Communism has been banned by Beak Mussolini. I'm not surprised. That's, you know, that's probably one of the things he would uh, definitely do. I mean, I haven't done anything like that. I would ban it if I could. I mean, I can, but I'm not going to spend my political power doing so. Um, so we got an extra research slot. Fantastic. Now, let us get two more, uh, two more military factories. So what? Oh, what? So I removed which one? It was the illiteracy penalty. Fantastic. So now my research should be negative 37%. It is it is an upgrade. It's not much of an upgrade, but it is it is an upgrade. So it is 10,009. So let us go for the computing machine so we can get some better technology. Farbrook has won the war. And now we can eventually offer them coalition ship once again. Only plus three opinion for sending one volunteer. The person who actually capitulated their entire army... Only gets one or plus three opinion. That's terrible. What is your bonuses, by the way? Are you actually any good? Four, four, two, two. We'll put in the guy who's good at infantry. And then we'll also put in a field marshal as just a regular general because it doesn't really matter. We don't have enough. Like, why do we need like three or four field marshals anyway? I don't think we're going to have. That large of an army? At least not right now. Maybe sometime in the future we could, but... It doesn't seem all that likely in the near future. So... We might actually want to just get Universal Conscription, because I might actually just want... Um... You know, just, just making as many troops as possible. So right now our factories are doing fine. We have enough weapons to uh, supply all of our troops. We have enough weapons to train up more divisions. Um... All we're waiting for basically right now is time. Time and manpower. Which is a little bit harder to come by right now. Because we are at zero. Which is, of course, not great. But, you know, you I helped you out in your war. So now you should join my cause. I mean, did they go for radical leadership and that's what happens? I'm not too sure. Okay, so now the fascists have sealed par uh, seized parliament. That's not a surprise. Uh, Bird Mussolini. Having a good time down there. We got 20 more days, so we got our two more military factories. And then we go straight into uh, military austerity. Consumer goods factory going down, population, construction speed, and a research speed bonus are all very nice things to have because we've been having uh, plenty of issues in the past with that kind of stuff. So again, we have so much political power. What do I want to spend it on? Well. Let's go for the silent work pony. Let's us res or let's put um division attrition. Just an you know, infantry expert. Generally, I think one of the best people you can always have. But I think that's going to be a good time to end this episode. Thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now, enjoy, always thumb down. Want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye.